Fox tiny little here. Uh, yeah, we got some more blood lies, clan quest style. Oh, where we left off, we just made that warehouse door boom. <laughs> Nothing like a little explosion, we met a werewolf kind of vampire, which I believe is the most beastly of the clans, the gangrel. He goes by Beckett. And we just managed to escape out of there. Nothing unusual besides, you know, ghosts, split personalities and that. So, here we go. We have more to do. So let's have a chat with our Nosferatu friend. Yep. Why is his name eluding me right now? Ah, damn it. Either way, let's see where we're going now. Great. Tongue! That was a bit of tongue. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> well, thank you. You know someone called Beckett. Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We had a chat, spoke of him. He's in town. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Oh, Bertram, if you don't mind, I got some questions. What do you need? I met your ghoul. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Whatever. I saw right through Knox, got him to tell me about your plan. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know all about the plan you and Knox had worked out for me. Goddamned, Tremere. Blood thieving mage assholes. Thank God your kind is going the way of the beta max. Hey, dude. I dealt with your problem. No need to be an ass about it. Thanks, I guess. I wanted to ask about more things. Like what? Yeah. Any clan mm. stuff? Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Ooh, the Malkavians, since we just dealt with one. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Yeah, is Therese all good fun? That was just silly vampire politicking, Cupcake. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Did you know they were the same person? Oh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Sounded a lot more vicious than just a pain in the ass. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Mm-hmm. You got a thing for drama queens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Not cut out for it? No, 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 no. You're a bit of an ass, but... Like what? I'm done here. Later. <laughs> I 
so that is that taken care of. Oh, okay. We're going downtown. Ooh, that's some nice points. So, do I want to put them into domination? I'll get, I'll get my, a boat up to my blood shield. I'll do that. My turn. Enjoy your multiple personality, my my girlfriend, or something. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for shutting up the car. Thank you very much. Oh, hello, taxi. Let me just check out my place before I can join you. Oh, yeah. So, I believe a certain Tremere Regent said he was downtown. Let's uh, check. Yep, downtown. Hey, we get to say hi. Sabat, sabat. I don't know what we saved here, but eh. anything we need. Oh, hello, dead arm. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that. I'll sell that. Sell that. Those. Oh, my mail. The first move. The White King moves to protect his pawn. Someone likes chess. Okay, TV. At a beach house in Santa Monica tonight, police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. Residents of this quiet community You're still were shocked about by that. the killings, though neighbors suspected the men in the house to be involved in drug <laughs> distribution and had seen many strange people going inside at all hours of the night. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning, was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the hey, ship. Hey, we're in Los Angeles. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information going on right that boat. now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as Hello, to the whereabouts Elizabeth of the crew, Dane. though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. Art criticism or vandalism? <laughs> Paintings on display at Santa Monica's Gallery Noir were slashed by an intruder who evaded capture by security. The painting well, thank you. be worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, the oh event tomorrow night. Oh dear. In other news, an apparent third <laughs> victim of the Southland slasher has... That was some expensive paintings. Hey, Lacuna. I'll be listening to you again. Right, let's go check out the taxi and off to our new adventures. Yes, this is a long, expensive game. Even longer with the conquest mod. Oh, hello. Yep, that's my fault. It was me! I ripped the paintings. Be glad I did, they were possessed. I am not gonna do a toilet guy anymore. So, hey, taxi man! Where to? Drive. And hey, downtown! I see what kind of greeting that prince gives me. Apparently a painful one. Nope, that's not the prince. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, Lick. 
<laughs> Blood pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camera the fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few <laughs> rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Oh, hey! Leave. There's ah, three nice. of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You Bring too, it up. Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Kind of already dead, aren't I? Well, under. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Bye. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Oh, thanks. Name's Nines. Well, thank you. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Yeah, I remember you. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Mm-hmm. The real story. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. So you say you got the real story. We shall see. Hug. Oh, this is a big place. And that building is absolutely huge. Right. Nope. Oh, Adventure Tower. That's where we're going. I do like a good gargoyle. Are these real gargoyles? Ooh, and they're going down very soon. Oh, that's my taxi man. So that was me. No, you're not big enough, are you? He would go in the biggest building because of course he would. Lacroix, that answers our question. Hey, big guy. Snack cake? What are you doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Mind doing me a favor, Moon Pie, and buzzing me up? Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm going to have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. <laughs> uh, dedication to your work. Can appreciate it. I'm here to see, you know, that name behind you, LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? I think the Baby Formula Company guy. No, it's LaCroix, Sebastian. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. You say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, uh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium, that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids, no skating in the parking lot. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Be seeing you, Chunk. Nope. Um, that's enough no senses. Fabulous. 
Oh, there's my elevator. Thank you for dinging. Ding for me. Oh, hello, big guy. And that was for you. Ooh, this looks nice and warm and toasty. And you've got quite the art collection going on here. Impressively so. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. I spy him a Chekhov's gun. For how long before it's used? There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Uh, yep. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Santa Monica came to a bit too fast. That's about it. Your gummy kill is screwed up, but I say that I won't get no deals from Mercurial, and I would like to use that to my advantage. So, nope, no problems. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? I guess was in it for me. Uh, I'd say yes, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually, in Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Hey, that's the ship that was on TV. Go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You want me to confirm there's no spookings? What do you you need? have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? But that was so entertaining to blow things up. Oh, okay. So, you want me on the ship? Investigate the cargo. See if anything unusual happened. And make sure they don't know I'm a bad ass vampire. Yes. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He wants me to visit him at his pub. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. I don't think you like him. Hmm. But, it's going to see him anyway. Give the Anarch community my regards. 
Okay. So, we're gonna go say hi to Nines, but before that, I'm gonna go say hi to a friend. Well, potential friend. It was lovely to see you again. Moon pie. <laughs> And uh, yep, like the last zone, the hub, we got the main quests and the side quests. The Star Galaxy sub. <laughs> hey, pale guy. I cannot wait. I want to see what's in here. What's in here? Yep, that's me. And then they created a vampire. Oh, hi. Help me. Help me. It's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It's coming for me. Whoa, dude! What's going on? Who are you? My crew, my crew. We, we were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist, hunted LA. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts. If this, that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs, and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. See if I can find your friends. No, no, don't go down there. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, whatever that was. Whoop. Well, how nice of you to make a toilet seat fly. All right, so he's out of here. And that's locked. Uh, computer hmm. Anything in here? No, no, no. But hey, spooky but <coughs> spooky abandoned hospital, and they're being filmed. So there's something here. Guess <laughs> that. Yep, that kind of thing. Not normal. And this place has fallen into total shambles. So that's why we came through. And hey, we got a hole. Ah, let's see what side of the blockage. What's in here? Let's see. Nope. Ah, yeah. I see, I see. Let's check what's up. A blockage. Let's check it. Oh, hello. Ah. I do not want wood. Get that wood out of here. Come on. floating in the air being dragged to the doom let's find out what doom you've been dragged to can't use that exit oh let's go in here do you oh that's what she want do you like my dirty bed collection more things to sell oh yeah I'll have to find somewhere to sell in this area I imagine there's more places. Mm, okay. And we're going down, we're going down. Someone's getting holy in here? Uh, calling for the Lord. Hmm. What's in here? It's a hole! Let's go in the hole. Hmm. Now we 
getting through. Oh, this is so. Oh, yes, there we go. Let me out, let me out. Thank you. Okay. So we've gone from one dead body mortuary to another one. Okay, so did I miss anything? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Go this way. Nope. What's this way? Hmm. That had to hurt. And it's locked, of course. You're webbed over, so clearly not. Ugh, spiders. Not a fan. Not a fan. <coughs> ah, let's find out what's been going on in here. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. You know, just the most normal way to start talking to somebody after you rip the guys in and out. Yeah, eating them? That's kind of disgusting. But, yeah. Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Hmm. Do you have to eat human flesh? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kind think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. That's understandable. So, who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Okay. Why are you living in this building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Upholding a masquerade. He won't come down. He's scared. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Are you gonna eat him? Eventually. Hmm. If it has to be this way. So. Oh. That's fine. Yay! Okay. Do it. Yes! I get my blood shield! Ooh. Oh, there it is. Blood form. That would absolutely break the masquerade, won't it? Here. I shall leave you to your uh, occultism. Oh, hey, that's alright. There's an exit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't big enough, I had to crouch. Escape! So, oh, hello. Uh, business card. Uh, what's on this business card? Ah, oh, he's in apartments. 
Oh, I'll make sure to swing by for a visit. Now, with that side tracking, let's go investigate that mysterious note. And then say hi to Nines. Hmm. Yep, hey, most haunted. Get your butt in there and see if you like it. <laughs> Oh, hello. Has my suits. Death symbols. Uh, alleyways that you can kill people in. This is fabulous! Whoa! Okay, yeah. I definitely saw that. You are not quality. So, you said come find me. Oh, burns. Oh, I'd say that's mystical, right? Let's go in. Anybody home? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Let's go this way. Hello, a former tragical creatures book. No, I mean, I'll just sit down. Oh, hello. Email. No. Nine. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna take way too long to reach. So, former tragical. E. Bankins, Regent of Chicago. Gargoyles! Oh, there's gonna be gargoyles! The Plantrivia delved further into super blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than the detritus, if that's how you say it, of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery, and have led their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escape gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even a company of their own kind. Homon, homonculi. One of the most menial and mindless tasks many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Oh, that sounds entertaining. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance brings a mysterious threat to break in a masquerade. Ooh, can I make a gargoyle? That would be so much fun. Uh, oh! Whoa! Yep, this place is magical. Knock knock. Hi! You got a nice... Oh, hello. Eve. Lilith, I believe. And death. Hi. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Oh, that is a fabulous accent. Much better than mine. What is this place? Ah, yes, forgive me. I forget that you are not embraced within the pyramid. We share the same blood, you and I, but there is much you have yet to learn about our clan. You are Tremere too? It's, oh yeah, it's said on the notes. Yes, 
This new life in which you find yourself undoubtedly seems strange. I'm sure you have many questions, young one. I will answer those which I am able. What did you mean embraced in that pyramid? The pyramid is the social structure of our clan, with each level of advancement watched over by the next. There are apprentices here at the Chantry who are my charges, and I have a lord who watches over me and other local regents, and so on. In most cases, Tremere are very selective about who they embrace and how it is done. There are traditions and laws that we adhere to, so the circumstances of your embrace were, let us say, unconventional. Therefore, you are outside the pyramid. I don't know about this pyramid scheme business, but... But... Can I get inside the pyramid? Be an, be an apprentice? Such things are possible, young one. But you would have to prove your worth to the clan before it would even be a consideration. Tremere guard their secrets well. Perhaps it is something we will speak of later. I see... What is a Chantry? A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Cool. So, what's a Regent? A Regent is the leader of a Chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Teach me! Teach me! <laughs> Uh, Max, I'm new around here. What's the word on the street? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Yep, I appreciate it. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Hmm. Ah, that explains the hazmat suit. What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. <laughs> Dude, that shit is whack. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. What's the Camarilla all about? The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Well, maybe for you. Any more Camarilla things you might want Truly. to tell me? What else would you like to know? Yeah, what do you think of LaCroix? LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventrue on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Hmm. Oh, special dialogue. It's all right. You can trust me. What is your true opinion of him? Hmm. Well, without saying too much... I think that Sebastian Lacroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be a prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. Hmm. Do you think you're going to do a better job? <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. In that order. <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. I'm glad that we're getting along. Well, I just need another minute of your of time. Course. Maybe I could look into this epidemic. Hmm. An interesting proposition. 
If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. What's in for me? I will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate, and your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. Alright, I'll take care of it. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. I'll check in with you later. So, quest coverage on The Last Round. Yep, go do that. I'll check you at some point. What? Last round. More points. Woohoo! Do, do, do. If we're keeping in one direction, there's the way to go with this. Okay. Dutch Amir has some pretty cool powers. Can I learn to have powers like that? Well, I learn in this game. Maybe not. Oh, hello, Primogen. Elders of a clan. An old vampire's club. <laughs> hey, you doing that, man? Whoa! Hello. Hey, that was a. <laughs> what was that for? Really? What the hell was that for? I don't want to talk to you. Move. What you gonna do? Hey, you you gonna up, man. Hey, we got some gang wars going on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, that woman's caught in the crossfires. Leave her alone. Oh. That's a dead guy. That's enough I can't pick up. I'm following this entertainment. Oh, okay. Alright, show's over. Ah. Calabra Cotel. I guess I can't go in there. Okay. It is a locked one. I don't think I'll have the points for it. I can run. Run. I'm guessing. Hey, it's my hazmat people. I will not stop. Hey, guys. Pretty suspicious of that. And this is about to get very dialogue heavy. And also, hey, it's the last round. Woody Creek, enjoy the final things. I certainly hope so. Time for copyright! Hey guys, how's it going? Well, if oh, it ain't hello. the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Yo, dude. Is Nines around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. I'm scared. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Yeah, hi. You got a few minutes to talk. What's up? None of this vampire shit makes any sense to me. You've got to understand, Kendrick. You're carrying a 6,000 year curse in your blood. 
No matter how powerful it makes you feel. This? That blood is a tangle of chains that's gonna leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Hmm. Why do you say that? Your elders command the blood. They control the blood and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will. And it'll make you obey. Oh, I don't know about that. I like to be my own thing. How can you break free? That shit stretches all the way back to Ken. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you don't feel that shit. Like it or not. That's not good. Who's Kane? Kane, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, sister. You mean cave from the Bible? Really? That true? Keep your voice down. Is Kane real? I don't know. Not sure I want to. That may be wise. But where are you going with this? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Uh, what have you got against the Camarilla? But Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Sure, I do. Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? Hmm. I see your point. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. <clears throat> I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam. But it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. Yeah, but don't you follow nines? No one bows to nines like three days. He leads by example, down here with us. Better than some chicken shit live for his paper pusher hiding up in his tower. <laughs> the camera with her sheep couldn't see the difference. But you agree with the masquerade? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity Camarilla label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. I hear ya. Oh, you know, right. speaking of the masquerade. I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me about it. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What's the name? Her name is Patty. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Oh, boy. Uh Yeah. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. She just ask again louder. Junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. Oh dear. What kind of heat we talking? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. Alright, so the party problem. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret here. Oh, do it to uphold the masquerade. Alright, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. Hmm. Alright, I'm off. Now that you've done accosting me, I gotta say hi to Jack. Hi, Jack. Well, well, look at who made it back in one piece. How's Santa Monica, kiddo? I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? 
You could say that, yeah. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> uh, politics? Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer and keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Cause Prince LaCroix said so. <laughs> he is not popular. Uh okay. Why me? Cause he never thought you'd make it back. If nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Oh, get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. He seems like a patching child, so... How come I'm still standing Public relations, <laughs> man. Calculated risk. Vents who are born in a war room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. You're not into public relations, Jack? Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. Yeah, I can dig it. It's LaCroix for the Nines. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. Hmm. LaCroix is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. <clears throat> uh, you don't follow Camarilla now? Ah, <laughs> oh, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. I think, yeah. Leonard Syndrome. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. I'm guessing that's not working. Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, <clears throat> for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. Who is we? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Those got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Tell me about them. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? Who's your leader? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so the brain is wired to that shit. Yeah, I got the matching. That's good. So, you're not the chief. Me? <clears throat> I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. What clan are you? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Hmm. Fun. Moving right along. Uh, something else. What's on your mind? One more thing. What's up? No, never mind. I'm out of here. There's much more dialogue there. I love to keep chatting. But we got missions to do. And hey. Oh, hi. Hello. Let's say hi to you, too. Hello, Nines. Hello. Is that chase you in here, Cammy? Uh, what are you talking about? Heard Nines saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? Uh, what do you mean? Again. Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand girl out of it. Oh, uh, God. What did I do? As long as you're a tool for some cape, 
You don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. Huh. Also, Cape. Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Oh, uh, Miss Melfit. Oh, uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Hmm. No point to all this. You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. And who the hell are you? I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Freud Hmm. I don't know about LaCroix. I'm cool with nine stuff. Hey, Cammy. I don't apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bear getting the CDC's attention. Maybe I misjudged you, though, I'm saying. Plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. So, how'd you get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Well, you guys have helped me up before. Where does that? One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Ghouls, why is it always ghouls? I'll go check it out. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I got a question. Yeah? No, 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 no. I need them to be my friend. Tell me about Jack. Jack? Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. Really? I had no idea. He's one of the cooler people I've met. He's wearing more than head gear. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. Let's talk to Jack. He's never short on Jack. Maybe I'll go do that. Oh, I got one more conversation. Then, let's call it for this recording. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. <laughs> go on. Go on. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out too is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Then I guess we climb all the way up. Yeah, this is the prince of leader. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Aren't you a part of it? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be, which is... Of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. So, what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. 
Hmm. Yep. It's kind of what's happening these days, isn't it? The rich guys at the top, largely untouchable. And the people at the bottom have it rough. So, on that free state. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. You tried meeting the Camarilla? I got their meeting right here. Oh, but... Don't... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Dude. Chill. I'm here to talk. That's it. Stop it with the face. I'm guessing you don't like the prince. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Hmm. Sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran souls in the battle for them. One more question, uh... Any advice? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed, no reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. <laughs> well, thank you for the lessons and the tips. And considering I don't apparently know how to fight, can you teach me? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this and keep your body at an angle. It makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Oh, sweet. I got a stat increase. And yeah, I got taught that myself. Thumbs on the outside of the fist. You don't punch straight, you just angle it and do not lock your arms because you don't want to break your arms. Well, thank you. LA is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. <laughs> Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Everybody's watching me. I must be quite the entertainment show. Okay. Oh, now we got a few things to do in this area. We gotta go for both damsel. And our Trubia Regent to sort out this plague problem. Make a go disappear and now we get to check out the ship. So we have to go back to Santa Monica. Well, we shall deal with the ship in the very next episode then. Episodes. <laughs> On the next part that I record. So, until the next recording and the next upload. I'll figure out a sign off. Off now. Bye.